Hello, so I hope your night's going good for you. Um, I'm stopping in because there was a couple of things today I saw that might help you as well and I'll post some pictures later on from my little sojourn into the big schmoke. So out in the middle of all the mayhem, I walked around aimlessly for about four hours because I'm in a town that I'm not familiar with and um, so I'm not sure where everything is just yet. But I'm navigating my way along, thanks largely in part to some really, really beautiful locals. Some beautiful elderly old women and elderly old men and little kids. Everybody's got their two cents worth about telling me where to go. Surprise, surprise, no. And they're helping me find different things that I was looking for. And I met some just beautiful people who had some really interesting stories. I met a lady who was homeless but grateful for the bus shelter that she was under and this carry cart that she had. So we nominated a discussion about her carry cart and how much she enjoyed it because it was a livelihood to put it, all her things in there and how it was the best investment she had ever made in her whole life. This lady was 83 years old. Um, she was very telling to me about... Um, the things that are important and the things that we allow to take precedence over our lives, which are not necessarily perhaps in the order of priority that they should be, for me at least. So I'm not judging you by saying it. Um, if I'm coming across as being condescending, please forgive me because that's not my intention. But there are some things that were outlined to me today and I felt like it might be worth sharing because even if you're just one person that really gets where I'm at, then yay, we're on the same page and it's worth sharing. So there was this little worm, not actually that little, he's probably about 10 centimetres in length, he's pretty tall, long. Um, I don't know if it was two worms in one, you know they have sex with themselves. Anyway, I'm going off the beaten track. So this little guy was amazing. I just stopped in the middle of all this traffic and walking down this path. Pouring down full of rain, I try to stop and share this little guy on video footage with you. I try to stand there and, and video footage myself, my vain moment, like a drowned rat in the pouring rain to talk about this, um, to talk about how grateful I am for everything that's going on around in the middle of chaos. Like looking to the mountain and seeing how strikingly beautiful it was and looking to the lush forest you know, in different spots around me, just even the overhanging trees and just letting them, like, touch my skin and how good it felt. Um, even though it's wet, soggy and soppy and all that kind of stuff, it really, if you close your eyes and you just let the senses take over and you just really absorb the fact that that's life in itself. It's being breathed from the sky. It's just beautiful. And from life it gives life to you know it it lets everything grow into these beautiful big twisted majestic trees it gives nourishment for the soil it gives nourishment for everything that's alive all the good bacteria watching this cat come in <laughs> um it was just amazing to be a part of it anyway this little worm i watched him going about half a meter in about Five minutes actually is pretty impressive really he's moving a lot quicker than I was because I was stopping and watching him this is my friend the cat come here don't be shy have a look bit of a force anyway <laughs> he's a bit shy so this little worm went half a meter in about five minutes okay and behind us was this beautiful it was a perfectly good spot it had lots of leaves for him to chew up it had lots of grass, it had lots of interesting little holes and really good earth and not so good earth. Lots of places for him to make his home or to go and get food or to hang out at the supermarket with lots of other worms, have his social sojourn, all this kind of stuff. But no, he was a lone shark. He was heading in a different direction on the concrete path or on the tarmac path and he was heading toward the other side where there was more grass and what it made me think of was that the grass cliche is always greener on the other side we're always looking for the next destination we're looking about how we can get to it like 
How do we get from this mediocre house to this really big mansion? How do we get from Australia over to Europe or an island somewhere? Or how do we get from working for somebody to running our own business? How do we get from um, being single to being married? How do we get from, you know, having no children to having three? You know, we've always got this ambitious, this ambitious streak in us and this competitive streak in us to varying degrees on how we're going to get there, wherever there is. And this little worm, despite being a different species, was doing exactly the same. So if you observe a worm or caterpillar or a snail or a tortoise or anything like that, you know, all these stories that we grow up with, they win the race. And the reason why they win the race is because they're consistent. They're consistently move forward they don't stay stuck in the past they don't look behind them for whatever the reason maybe they haven't got a neck to turn but outside of that they don't fuck around with the past they're always moving forward and there's a lot to be learned from it so inch by inch step by step that should be a choice that we're consciously making every single day for whatever it is that we're reaching forward for i'm not dismissing the need or the want to go and get that beautiful house or get that beautiful car or whatever it is that you're striving for aim high but also along the way I think it's worth all of us to be grateful for what we've already got and the steps we've already taken and to remember that a year ago we might not have even imagined that we would be where we are today so if we can think of it conceptually on that level then we can also be able to envision where we want to go and if we're consistently keeping on that path to where we want to go and appreciating the journey while we're getting there then we're really halfway there aren't we now the other side to it is that I was really concerned I mean I really really empathize with this worm I felt like picking him up taking him to the other side where the grass was or maybe putting him back in that bushland where he came from because, damn, it looked fine for a worm. And maybe he was on the way to, like, suiciding or something. You never know. You and I are not a worm. But whatever it was, he had that drive, that vision. And I'm hoping that it was for some sort of level ambition that he favoured, but it was his persistence that drew me in. It was the fact that he saw my foot walking his way and he was still like, no, I'm going to keep on going. She's the one that's going to have to step over me. And I was just like, wow, you know, sometimes it's worth just stopping and observing the little things in life because all those little things make up all the big things, all the beautiful things, all the Einsteins, all the Leonardo da Vinci's, all the Picasso's, all the Mozart's, all the inventors, everyone that has ever made anything, any things that have been special in their life, did many special little moments to get there. It wasn't just the one thing that they did in their life that you or I might remember them for. It was that every little consistent, persistent step that took him in that direction that got them there. It was all about the journey. It was never, ever just about the destination. So please take that with you today if you can, because it's such a major, major thing, such a major breakthrough and such a wild awakening for us to go in a much better and healthier direction. Thank you very much for your time and have a beautiful time. Have a beautiful day or a night, whatever it is.